Hi everyone, Joe Value here for Cold Beer Sports on YouTube. Uh, two selections for tomorrow, uh, two quite strong, strongly fancied ones I think for tomorrow, uh, both with big chances. Uh, just before I move on to them, um, you know, nice to get the winner today. Uh, one shot and one kill really. Uh, Alexander Algani winning very easily at Cork. Uh, you know, it's, it's probably, a, he's a tricky enough uh, character. He had to be loaded in from, uh, ages before anything else and uh, but you know he might have his few quirks but apart from that uh, you know he's some engine to be fair to him when he really hits top stride he uh, lengthened away lengthened away in the style of a good horse so um interesting to see where to go next and uh definitely well possibly a horse to keep on side uh you know he won very very easily uh today which was good for us and uh you know best luck to him in the future so uh, yeah, going on, moving on to my two for tomorrow, and the one forty at Doncaster tomorrow. Horse called uh, Summer's Day. Uh, she won her maiden in Brighton last time out, and now it wasn't much of a race, but she couldn't have done it any easier. And I just think she's one that's moving forward now. She got a mark of eighty one after that. This is a nursery. Uh, William Bugg takes the ride for Charlie Appleby, and you know th that combination couldn't be in any better form. Uh, she's drawn 11, which I thought, uh, watching Doncaster today, especially the last race at Doncaster there, the near side could be favoured. And she's a mare that uh, was Philly Dash, jumped up in front of Medall, very uncomplicated last time. I can see her doing the same tomorrow. And she's generally priced up around 7-2. to two. She is 4-1 to one at the moment, but 7-2 to two is fine. Even 3-1, to one, I thought, is fair enough. Uh, she, I think she's a good chance, and she's worth a two-point win. That's Summer's Day in the 140 at Doncaster. A uh, two-point win. Uh, three to one or seven to two, I think generally. Uh, moving on to the next one, my final selection for the day: the one fifty at Epsom horse called Mahogany, trained by uh, Sir Mark Press, uh, Sir Mark Press, gosh, even, uh, to be ridden by the Sniper Morris, Luke Morris. Uh, again, this horse likes to go forward. Uh, ran very well at Torsk. He's uh, Chester. He will run there in Chester as well, which is very very good. Finished second behind a, a horse. Called Ever Given, who incidentally is favourite to win the big sales race uh, this weekend. So, you know, uh, the one thing he's carried nine stone eleven and he's given away plenty of weight, but uh, you know he has a penalty for winning the race. And this is his, his would be his eighth start of the season, but uh, you know he's a good hardy sort and he seems to be keeping his form well. And I just I, in Epsom, especially for the last few meetings, up front was the place to be, and I can see uh, Luke Morris bouncing this lad up in front and there. Uh, making every yard it was a big advantage the last meeting to be up front as i say and uh, maybe it will be so again he's running against uh, a few newcomers who are nicely bred uh, but epsom you know it's not an easy track to get the hang of and um, there's also a horse there who is originally favorite i think uh, one of charlie hills is philly's getting 11 pound off or could be getting 13 pound off my selection uh, who ran very well at newbury but again she was beaten a long way and and even though the extra furlong will sue her tomorrow, I just think uh, Mahogany could be too clued up uh, for this race tomorrow. So Mahogany, uh, he's around 15 to 8 on the first show. He might be a bit better, who knows, but uh, I think he's definitely worth a two-point uh, win selection there as well. Wouldn't blame anyone if they wanted to stick it on stick on the double there. Uh, two of them should give you a good run for the money. So hopefully to go and win, which would be very nice. Uh, so that's it. Um, yeah, two for tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, we keep going the right way. Uh, thanks very much for following. And uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. It's Joe Value here for Cold Beer Sports. Take care. Talk to you this time tomorrow.